Hey guys, Technically Jeff here, and most of you know a few months ago I swapped out my factory 12 volt battery for an upgraded lithium iron phosphate battery from Momu. Now these LifePo4 or LFP batteries have a lot of benefits. They last longer, have higher usable capacity, are lighter, more efficient, and I've been very happy with mine. It's been working great with no issues, even with my new dash cam that has a parking mode pulling power when the car is off. I've actually only seen the orange light on the dash that indicates the 12 volt battery is charging from the high capacity battery pack one time since installing the OMU battery, so I've been happy with its performance. Well, OMU just recently released new batteries with Bluetooth built in that allows you to monitor the health of the battery directly using their app without the need for additional accessories. So I'm gonna swap out my old OMU battery for the new one, and then we'll connect it to the app and check out the monitoring capabilities. So let's do it. Now I'm not going to go through the entire installation process with you again. If you want to know the full details, check out the original installation video in the description. But the process is very easy. This is sped up of course, but the entire process start to finish, including getting a couple of tools I didn't have out originally, took only 7 minutes. So it's pretty quick. But just a quick overview for you. You open the fuse box under the hood and pull up on the tab for the high voltage battery disconnect. Then you open the frunk and remove the piece on the right side. Then you disconnect the battery terminals take out the brace on the bottom front of the battery, then remove the old battery. Looking at them side by side here, you can see they are essentially the same. The new one just has the Bluetooth capability. So I'll go ahead and install the new one in place of the old one in the reverse order of what I just did. Then once it's all tightened up, you reinstall the piece in the front, push the tab back down in the fuse box to re-engage the high voltage battery, and that's it, the new battery is installed. I will probably be giving away my non-Bluetooth version pretty soon, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that. I only used it for a few months, so it does have a significant amount of life left. But now let's get to the app. So the app is simply called Omu. You can download it from your phone's app store. I'm on the Android version. When you pull it up, it shows whatever batteries are available for it to communicate with. You click connect and it loads up to the dashboard here. You can see it gives you the current state of charge and whether it's charging or discharging. It also gives an estimated time to empty based on the current usage. Towards the bottom we can see the voltage and amperage as well as the cycle count and temperature. On the voltage tab we can see the total voltage and individual cell voltage as well. Then the power tab has the power draw listed as well as the voltage and the current. Then we have the advanced tab. This shows you the power cycles for the battery. You can see mine is brand new. You can see its age. And you can see if there are any alerts, which is very helpful. You can see there's a variety of alert categories. But yeah, I'm really excited to have the new battery with this monitoring capability built in. Interestingly, the battery is showing no power draw right now. I'm guessing the car went to sleep. Let's see what happens if I go around and open the door. Okay, you can see it's now showing that it's discharging and has some power being drawn. So that's pretty cool to see. But yeah, it's working good. Remember, you can get this battery from their website. I'll link that in the description for you guys. And if you use promo code TECHJEFF, you can save 5%. Like I said in the other video, these batteries aren't cheap, but they do last a long time and offer a lot of advantages over the factory 12 volt battery. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, I'll probably be giving away my non-Bluetooth version pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.